What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you have been here for a little bit, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, well, if you're new to the channel, Tuesdays are when I try to have a cup of tea. And while I make that cup of tea, I, well, talk about any number of topics. Now, as you saw in the beginning segment, I already put together the teacup. I already preheated the water. It's at 205 degrees because I'm actually drinking another pu'er. But this time it's a pu'er from a place called David's Tea. I was grabbing the canister, I forgot to turn off the lights. Anyway, this is Coffee Pu'er from David's Tea. Now, David's Tea is a wonderful place to get some tea. Uh, there aren't too many locations out there. I think they finally opened one up here in California. I think there's one in San Francisco, but one of the main places that I've seen David's Tea is up in Canada and over on the East Coast, mainly around the New England area. Now, Coffee Pu'er, if you are unfamiliar, Pu'er is a particular type of tea that I've already done a video on before. Uh, it's packaged in a particular way so that you can have these cake shapes um, or even just these little small cubes that are able to travel very well. And because of the fermentation process, uh, the more aged they are, the better they possibly taste. But coffee pu'er in this case uh, takes pu'er, adds in a little bit of infusion with chocolate, caramel, and almond flavors. And there are actually, as you can see in the clip, or as you saw earlier, some coffee beans in here. There's a little bit of artificial flavoring in here, but the reason why I wanted to show this off is because you can get into tea by mixing in some of the favorite flavors that you have before, and then slowly go into just having straight tea leaves yourself. If that's a route that you wanna take, that's perfectly fine, and David's Tea is a wonderful place to do that. I've linked in the description down below a couple of other blends that you might be interested in. Anyway, because this is a darker tea, we have 205 degree water here, slightly hotter for a darker tea as it tends to be, with also a slightly longer steeping time, which gives me a lot of time to talk about today's topic. Set a timer for five minutes. All right, five minutes, starting now. All right, so I have about five minutes, maybe just over four, to talk to you about a particular topic I've already spoken about in a previous gaming video. And it's a big topic, especially for YouTubers and small creators like, well, myself. Now, obviously, I've worked for a huge YouTube channel for quite a while now and has millions of subscribers, but I think that my perspective is a little bit unique uh, compared to a lot of the big YouTubers who have talked about this topic, uh, and because on this channel, I am considered a small creator. I'm talking, of course, about the new policies that YouTube put out for its creators, where you have to have a minimum number of subscribers and a minimum number of watch hours in order to be part of the partner program. Now, according to those policies, the partner program is going to end on February 20th. And if you did not watch that gaming video, then I'll just tell you right now, on February 20th, I'm gonna get kicked out of the partner program. Now, I have enough subscribers, over 1,000, but as far as the watch hours go, well, I'm pretty far behind that. But when you dive into those particular aspects of the policy change, it kind of shows what YouTube is looking for. There are a lot of small creators out there who may not upload consistently, and there might be those really small channels with like 50 subscribers that happen to get a viral hit, uh, but they don't necessarily get subscribers off of it. People just come in, watch the video, give it one of its millions of views, and even if their watch hours are really high up there, no one actually sticks around because there's no reason to. If there's no reason to stick around, then no one's gonna subscribe, and in order to get people to stick around, you have to upload consistently. So I think that's one of the main takeaways here is the fact that I'm trying to make my channel, obviously you see that I have a logo now, I'm doing gaming videos, I'm trying to bring you guys a lot of content, potentially every single day, at least in terms of the gaming videos, because I want to have that kind of consistency. Now again, I'm gonna bring up the fact that I do have a day job and it is at a huge YouTube channel, and I'm very blessed to have that day job and to have that stream of revenue. For those of you out there who might have a small channel, yes, it means that you're not going to get money off of YouTube itself, but as a lot of the bigger creators have been stating, you should be trying to find streams of revenue that are outside just AdSense and just the pennies and cents and maybe nickels and dimes that you might get from YouTube in the first place. But I do get where all of that let's say tension and anger might come from when it comes to these small creators because it kind of demotivates you from continuing. But if anything, I would kind of say that you should be motivated to continue even more and might even push harder because what YouTube wants out of its system, out of this company and out of its community are consistent creators who are adding texture to the overall website. What you have right now is a place to aim for starting out. 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. That's a lot and with consistency, you should be able to hit that. But there is another facet to this that I think YouTube wants to make sure its creators have and that's passion. 
It's, it should be pretty obvious to a lot of you out there, but if you're not passionate about the work that you're doing on places like YouTube, or even if you have a website, or even if you have some sort of other way of making money uh, in the creative space, then you know that if you run out of your passion, then you're not going to continue doing that. And this is sort of a weird way for YouTube to try and motivate its creators to continue to have and to cultivate those passions. So at least for me right now, I really want to try and make this channel one of my, let's say, guiding lights when it comes to my creative outlook. I've been at Android Authority for a number of years now, and I've done a lot of stuff in the tech space. I do have a lot of skills that I've learned in the five years that I've been there, and I kind of want to be able to put that into other uh, areas of exp The timer went off, I just took out the leaves, and now I have a strong cup of coffee here. A little bit more caffeine than usual because I do have a drive down to San Diego in a little bit, and I need as much energy as I can get. Anyway, the last point that I was trying to make there basically is that if you do have a passion for all of this creative stuff, then you should continue pursuing that. And what YouTube has given you is basically a guideline, somewhere to really aim for as the bare minimum because when you reach that 1,000 subscriber mark and those 4,000 watch hours, does that mean you're gonna stop? Probably not. So to those of you out there who might be a little bit upset about these changes and are not looking forward to February 20, I know exactly where you're coming from because I'm in the same boat. But if anything, that is hopefully going to make me really buckle down and get videos up, in my case, potentially every single day, but I understand if that's not going to happen all the time. That's another thing I wanna tell you, and it's something that I've always said uh, to people in my life, and I've also done a video about it here that you can see in the card above. It's the whole idea of saying it's okay. If you don't seem to meet your your own expectations or you don't meet the expectations of YouTube in this case, it's okay because you still have time and you still have the ability to pursue that. And that is actually kind of a blessing. If we didn't have a platform like YouTube to begin with, then we'd all be in a very different place. But now that YouTube is kind of pulling the reins a little bit on its creators, that just means that you have to step up and I plan on doing so as well. Anyway, this is probably stuff that you've already heard from really huge creators who have been reacting to everything that YouTube's been doing over the last year or two, uh, but I felt like it was important for me to try and be one of those voices because I am technically a small creator. I'm trying to build something here uh, that I could be proud of just as much as I've been proud of all of my work at the larger channel of Android Authority, but this here is all mine. So take it from me, someone who is in your shoes, that if you have the passion that I have, then why don't we work together on all of this? Why don't we work as a community to try and make all of our creators meet not only these guidelines, but to go beyond that? So if you are a YouTube creator, or even if you're not, head into the comment sections down below and let me know how you feel about these policy changes. Let me know what your struggles are because sometimes it's good to be able to talk about it. And I'm here sharing it with you as well, as is going to be the case on this channel, uh, pretty much for most videos, because you'll see what I have coming up in the pipeline. So regardless of where you are on this subject, I hope everyone is able to sit down, slow down for a second at least. I know that you're probably hustling a lot, but don't forget to sit down, have a cup of tea, and maybe take that time to remember why you're doing what you're doing and why you're going to keep pushing. Mm. In the world of teas, black is always going to have a much stronger taste, but it's nice to have those notes in there of like caramel and chocolate, but really the coffee beans are an interesting uh, addition for me because it kind of adds even more texture to the flavor. Uh, so even though I drink a lot of coffee, this doesn't quite reach that level of taste, flavor, or even caffeine content, but I do like this mixture, it's really nice. In any case, thank you so much for watching this video and stick around for even more stuff. Every Tuesday, I talk about tea. Every Thursday, I might be talking about something in tech. And every Friday, it's Type 2 Foodie. And you can look forward to the first video, the first official video of Type 2 Foodie this week. Uh, so stick around and remember uh, to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that great stuff. Keep the conversation going because I love talking to you guys. And thank you so much for watching and for having the dialogue with me. I really enjoy having you fans and all of you fellow creators in the comment sections with me. So with all of that, thank you so much once again and remember enjoy your tea everybody